Hey guys, it's Lionel here and I'm back again with another video. Sorry that I've been, it's been so long since I uploaded my last video. I've just been doing my masters um, in computer science and it's been a really tough semester. But this semester's over now and I'm gonna, it's now Christmas holidays and I'm gonna try my best to upload as much as possible. So that when I'm done with all these videos, you guys can just go off into 2022 and learn Japanese by yourself with all the resources and videos that I've given you. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get straight into the video. So as the title shows, today's video is going to be about how to capture audio from your favorite, you know, Japanese media, whether it's anime or Japanese TV shows. This is not going to be a video on how to sentence mine. That's going to be the following video, the next video I make. Today's video is only going to be about how to record and capture audio that you can then put into your flashcards. So. So without wasting any of your time, let's get straight into the video. So the first thing you're going to do is that you're going to go into the description and click the link there. It will take you to this website. I'm not going to undermine your intelligence and show you how to download and install. You click, simply just click download and then it will install for whatever you know operating system that you are using. Then once you've got it on your computer and it's downloaded and installed, next you're going to just go to your system and share, search for it, ShareX. You know click open and you get a window like this so the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to click on application settings then you're gonna to go to paths now what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna we're going to set where our recorded audio files are going to be saved so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure we click use custom screenshot folder we're gonna click browse and you're gonna put it in a place where you want to um, you know you can easily access it if you don't do this it will be just saved in a random folder somewhere in your documents so if you want to be able to easily access do what i'm doing right now so click forward we're going to call it japanese immersion audio you know then we just click select folder boom done then you're going to go here where it says subfolder and it's going to delete all that chat that random characters and that's it that's that done we're going to close that down Next, we are going to go to hotkey settings. Then we're going to click add. And what we're going to do, it says tasks. We're going to click the none. And we're going to go down to screen record. And then we're going to go to start slash stop screen recording using active window reason. Then we're going to click override after capture tasks. So you're going to see there's a whole few things that are ticked. We're going to untick all of those first. This, as you can see, the highlight is in bold. Untick, untick, untick. And then we're gonna click it again and we're gonna tick um, copy file to clipboard, this one right here. What this essentially is doing is that when we record our audio, we want it to go straight to our clipboard so that we can just paste the audio into our Anki flashcards. Then next what you're going to do is that you're gonna go down to capture you're gonna tick override capture settings. You're going to then go to screen recorder and you're gonna go screen recording options. You are then going to just click download first. Let's wait for it to download. Then you're gonna, oh, it says successfully downloaded. You're gonna click okay. You're then going to go to video code. No, it's wrong, wrong. <laughs> you're then gonna click install recorder devices right here. I'm not going to click that because if I click it, it's going to stop the recording that I'm doing right now to show you guys this video, but you're going to click it. Once you've clicked and it's finished, the next thing you're going to do is click audio source and you're going to click virtual audio capture. The reason why you're doing that is that it allows ShareX to record the audio that's coming out of your computer, whether you're on YouTube or on Netflix or whatever. Then you're going to go to video source. We're going to go to none. Why? We're not trying to record the screen or any of the videos. We just want to capture the pure audio from whatever we're watching. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to go, you're going to, go to audio codec, click the drop down menu, MP3. We want to save our audios, MP3 files. And with all of that being done, that should be it. Um, so once that's done, we just click X and we click X. And then before we get started, we're going to click none. Here we're going to select our hotkey. What key you want to press so you can start recording audio. Me personally is control A. If 
for you it can be anything you want so i'm gonna click control a boom now we are set up so we're gonna go straight to um now that we've got it set up we just close it down click x okay so now we're gonna open up our scene that we want to record audio from or our anime or japanese show whatever you are watching and then what you're going to do normally i have my anki set, i have my screen set up like this so i split half of it on anki half of it on the show that i'm watching or you can just make it big if you want just like this boom so it's more clear then you just open up this yeah then what you're gonna do your card type you're gonna click the basic button and you're gonna choose um japanese read and audio cards use this those who are new to my channel um this to get this flashcard type and your anki set up, set up the way that mine is set up go to my youtube channel click on the videos where are, that are called anki anki setup to learn japanese part one and part two go through those videos then come back to this those who already know the drill and already have been following my videos you should already have this card type and it should look like this then you're going to just choose the deck that you want to put the flashcard in I'm going to make a, a new deck and I'll call it, um, I'm going to call it, I don't know, anime sentence mining. All right. I'm going to click OK. All right. Now that we've got the deck we want to send the flashcard to, one thing you guys should note is that when it comes to recording, when you press your hotkey, your control A or whatever you set it to, Keep, look at the edge of the window that you're selected on yeah you will see a red line appear the red line means that it's getting ready to start recording it does not mean it's recording yet but when it turns green that means it started recording and then you can press play on the thing that you want to record and then you know then press Control a again or whatever short key you have to stop the recording then it'll be copied to your clipboard so this is the scene i'm gonna do it watch the edges of the screen you'll see it turn red then green and then i'll press play so um to control a. <laughs> see um as you, can, as you can see i pressed stop Control a again task completed now it's copied to my clipboard then all i'm gonna do is click the audio section of my flashcard and press Control V to paste that audio into there, and you'll hear it play again. You know, how did you get in here? You know, then uh, on your front of your flashcard, you put a Japanese if you want. Don't exclamation mark. Then, um, yeah, you'd be like. How did you get in here? You know, and if you want, normally what I do, just a uh, snippet tool, take an image of the scene so you can remember, whatever, paste it, boom, that's your flashcard done. Click add, and that's how you capture audio and put it into your flashcards. Simple. Now to go show you what it looks like and what it sounds like. So when you go to your Anki, Sentence mining, start. The flashcard here first has the reading on the front. Um, then you press space. Plays the audio. If you click good, the next flashcard should be the audio. So wait for it. Oh, they didn't make the audio version. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Uh, preview. That's the audio flashcard. And that's how you get capture audio from your favorite anime or whatever. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is going to be a quick video um, on how to capture audio. Now the following video I'm going to make um, is going to be how to sentence mine and I'll put it in exact detail what you're exactly you're looking for and how to do everything you know, and like using all the resources that I've showed you up until now in my YouTube videos, how to start sentence mining. And once that video is done, you're basically on your own. You're out in the field, you're gonna be out in the concrete jungle, 
trying to treat these ops like prey, prey, uh, and stop. Um, yeah, gonna be out here, you know, sentence mining in the Japanese jungle, getting your sentences and improving your Japanese all the way to fluency. So that's gonna be in the next video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video on how to capture audio. I think I'm repeating myself, but yeah, I'll see you next time. Ja, matane.